Okay, this is Decent for We The People News. How are y'all? Uh, boy, I don't know about y'all's part of the country, but it's getting a little warm down south. Um, so this video is going to be attending to affidavit of status. Okay? Uh, this is actually... I have not really dug too much in, and I guess I should have, but it's actually a uh, pretty important thing. It kind of, in essence, tell the courts who you are. All right. So, some of you guys know that I stand as a man. With the affidavit, uh, when you put it in, you're telling the courts. That's how you're standing, as a, a man. Alright, you're not standing as a person or a uh, people or anything like that. Um, just to do a quick rundown, the reason why, okay? A man has inalienable rights. Alright? Persons don't. People don't. Humans don't. All them names under a man came later in the progress of humans. Wink, wink. Okay? Uh, so the man always has the status of inalienable rights. That uh, even for some of y'all uh, don't believe in God. Alright? Use it to your be benefit anyway. Okay? Because when God created man... That was the top of the chain on earth. All right? All these other words, uh, for argument's sake. Humans came out, the word, came out in around 13th century. Okay? So, it was a long time after man or women. Okay? When I say man, I'm going with mankind. All right? Uh, but, with everybody being individuals, we're not all the same. So, even mankind kind of pushes it, right? Uh, don't loot me in y'all's group. I have inalienable rights uh, separate from y'all. So, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not in that group. I'm not in a person group. I am uh, not in a people's group. Now, I can accept within our constitution to come in to the status of people of one other people but I'm still going into one of the people as using as kind of a benefit um, a trade okay uh, a couple video ago, uh, videos ago I said you know um, oh man I lost my train of thought. Little baby's cram, uh, crying, so I lost my train of thought. I apologize for that. But the, the Constitution is not the law of the land. Uh, we seem to think it is. But anytime you enter any contract, it voids the con, uh, Constitution. You uh, exchanged um, services with another and then as doing so uh, you don't have the constitution to sit there and back you up unless the contract involves within the guidelines of the constitution okay so that's where we're at so always remember when we talk about how you have all these rights that the constitution gave you you already had them as inalienable rights okay the Bill of Rights is there to protect your inalienable rights. That's what the government's job is, to protect your inalienable rights. Now, I understand the Declaration of Independence says that, you know, um, we have certain inalienable rights. Well, where's the certain come in at? All right. Well, the certain comes in as in reason. Okay, uh, just because you have inalienable rights don't mean you can go out and harm everybody or anybody. 
okay? And, and in, in general, that's what you call a true free man, that they get to do whatever they want to do. You may suffer the consequences, but a true free man would do that. They get to do whatever they want to do. Well, inalienable rights, you get to do whatever you want to do as long as you don't harm another. You know, some people say liberty, but liberty is still a permission slip. Okay? Uh, John Adams was uh, a captain of a ship. So when his uh, people was released on the land, and he says, okay, go enjoy your uh, liberty. All right? Well, he gave them permission. So liberty is still with permission. Now, I showed uh, Chris Ann Hall a couple of times and kind of pinpointed a little bit how you do exchange services and guidelines of uh, entering private and public right you, you do enter contracts on certain things so when you do enter contracts you need to really pay attention if this contract is going to benefit you um you yeah, had to look at the other video it's been uh what my kids say a minute since I'd, i've done it but we still go back and within the guidelines of the constitution is to protect our in, in our inalienable rights within reason okay our liberty uh, because you know sometimes we had to ask for permission all right my inalienable rights protect my family by any means necessary and liberty is the same way but they still had some type of permission okay um within the guidelines and i don't know exactly where the liberty permission is but when you really tie together it's still permission okay and alienable rights is just got given to you <laughs> you know uh we get back into the the status of the affidavit of status okay uh when you fill one out you got to kind of go in there and describe as what you're going to be in there as if you're going to go in there as a person or John Doe, well, you just admit to them that you are part of the contract. Because in courts, you're always dealing in contract laws, especially the lower courts. Okay? Now, with me, uh, I'm awarded different. Now, I'm going to double check on some of my words because this is actually something I'm really new at. And, uh, and uh, I've heard it. I just never played around with it. And never really fully understood it. So I'm still working on fully understanding it. But I'm going to stand as a man and give my name. So that way the courts know when I walk in there, I'm above them. Okay. I'm also going to put in there and I'm going to double check on everything. Because when you go into court, you want everything spick and spin, right? So I'm going to go in there. Uh, my status and let them know plain out uh, I'm not a person I'm not a people because nobody in there is going to be in court for me I'm alone in this okay so I cannot go and claim people when I, I have a bigger status as a living man so you're cutting yourself short when you say you're a people, are you cutting yourself short if you call yourself human? And you're cutting yourself short if you call yourself a person. When God created this, he created man. He didn't create person. Man did that. He did not create humans. Man did that. Alright, so recognize and get this the authority from the rightful uh, place. Alright? I call him God. You know, y'all can call him whatever you want, or if you don't believe in it, uh, uh, put on there to, you know, basically saying that you're still above this, right? But you're not going to fall into their contract thing. 
person, human, or people. Now, it's okay to be one of the people. One of the people is a group of men, all right? And I go with mankind, right? You, there's a group. So when we do a protest as a group, you're, you're part of the people because there's something wrong that's causing inalienable rights against you. So I'll, I'll give some more details later on, but I wanted to kind of point out that this is actually pretty important. All righty. So this is Decent Food with the People. Um, we shall see you soon, or we shall see you later. Stand as a man, stand as a woman. Set yourself free and always look all around you. And I am not an attorney, nor care to be an attorney. Take everything with I say with a grain of salt. Bye, y'all.